So this is cashew cheek. I keep it in my fridge all the time. It's cashew cheese. Yeah, yeah. It's raw I'm, cheese. Oh wow. Oh my god. It is good. <laughs> I almost feel like that was infomercial. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I was so that was not scripted. That was true. <laughs> oh, my God. That was, that was okay. so funny. Anyways, it, it is really good. But it's just, it really, it's just a way to use up, when you make cashew milk, to use up your cashew, um, I guess, what would you call that? Like the, the, pulp, the, pulp the pulp of it all? Yeah. Okay. So usually I keep the pulp in my freezer and I wait till I have a couple rounds of it, but since we're doing this, I'm just going to do it with what we just made. But usually I'd have like double that amount to, okay. before I made a batch. Yep. You know what I mean? So there's that's a batch. You can keep it in your freezer. Put it in your muffins. You can do lots of stuff with it, but today we're making cheese. Okay, so normally I would have a lemon, but I don't have lemons here. So I'm going to do it with a lime. I don't know how it's going to taste. Okay, but normally lemon. Normally a lemon, half a lemon. Okay, but I'm going to do half a lime. Um... If you don't have one of these, this is just like a handheld kind of juicer, and it's, I mean, it costs $1.50, and it's the best way to get juice out of a, a lime or a lemon really quickly. I love this tool. Anyways, so, and then I'm just going to basically get the juice into um, the food processor with the cashews, and the cashew pulp. Okay, so, I'm not going to put a lot of lime in here because I don't know how it's going to taste, and I don't want to ruin the batch. Okay, and then salt. I him, pink Himalayan sea salt. That's what I use. You can okay. use any sea salt if you wanted. I wouldn't use regular salts too. I don't know. So, I don't know. Not a lot. Like a one-eighth of a teaspoon. Like hardly any. And if you like it salty, then you can add more. Garlic. Same thing. I don't put a pile of garlic in because you don't want it to be too garlicky. Same thing about like an eighth of a teaspoon. Okay? Awesome. You can taste it. And then... Um, just I usually just to make it a little more creamy, I'll add about a tablespoon of olive oil. So that's it, max. Um, and that is it. That is all you need. That is it. So blend um, that up. How long? Pardon? How long do you blend it for? Um, until it looks like creamy and smooth. Now, well, that's another lesson. But you can you can break up a probiotic in there and leave it on your counter for a while, and it'll actually start to change, taste even more cheesy. But. And that's it. My God. And you would put that on... Uh, I use that on... on like crackers. Crackers, and... sandwiches. Um, if you're going to make like a collard green wrap or something, so you take your collard green. Actually, I should show you how to do that. But you take your collard green, smear that down, add some beans, rice, nuts, vegetables, whatever you want, roll it up. It's just, it's kind of, it's like a cheesy, creamy sauce to put on sandwiches yeah, and crackers. Or, yeah, or a vegetable dip, eh? Yeah, you could absolutely do that. Like, I mean, I might add, um, I might even add a little bit of agave in there. And just for a little hint of sweetness, and then um, some dill or some fresh herbs, uh, like basil. You see, you could add basil and sun-dried tomatoes and like make a really cool basil sun-dried tomato cheese. Dip. dip yeah, cool.